to my channel. Today we are taking a trip to one of my favorite destinations, Portland, Maine, but with one very important focus, lobster. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that way we can keep on growing. Now, a couple years ago, I went on a long trip throughout Portland and I made sure to eat as much lobster as my wallet would allow. So in this video, I'll be sharing my top picks for where to get the most delicious, mouth-watering lobster in Portland, Maine. But I'm not just talking lobster rolls. I'm talking lobster grilled cheese, lobster chowder, lobster corn dogs, the whole nine yards. So let's dive in and explore some of the best lobster eats in Portland, Maine. Now, when trying to figure out where to get a lobster roll in Portland, Maine, you might first have to decide if you prefer a Connecticut style or a Maine style lobster roll. On this trip, I wanted to make it my mission to figure out my true preference. Connecticut or Maine style. Now, brief intermission to explain the differences. So if you don't know, a Maine style lobster roll is typically served cold and the lobster meat is made with a mayonnaise, kind of like a salad, but a Connecticut style roll is served warm and dressed with melted butter. So our first stop is at High Roller Lobster Co. Here you can personalize your lobster roll with a variety of traditional and non-traditional options. I have got a classic lobster roll, main style lobster roll. One of the cool things about the High Roller is that you can pick your sauce. So they don't just have mayo, but here they have all different kinds. So I got a garlic mayo and they also had a lobster ghee. So I also got lobster ghee on it. It looks beautiful and it is on a brioche bun. They also had some other fun stuff on the menu, like uh, kind of like a similar to like a lobster corn dog almost. Mmm, that's really good. The garlic mayo is really good. It's not overpowering. However, if you come here, there's a bunch of different sauces, like I said. I got some footage of the menu. I'm sure I can put that up here. And you can see that there's just like, there's like a curry ketchup and all these different things. So if you're looking for something that's outside of a normal lobster roll, uh, I would definitely recommend the High Roller. You also can just get mayo. So if you want to come for some good lobster, this is a good spot. So High Roller is perfect if you want to try a bunch of unique or traditional lobster rolls. You can even get a flight of lobster rolls here so you can really dream up a bunch of fun combinations. They also have a lobster corn dog, a lobster taco, lobster mac and cheese, along with so much more. So if you only have time for one stop in Portland, Maine, High Roller Lobster Co. covers everything from fun and unique to traditional and just downright good lobster. Oh, and I decided that I like Connecticut style better, but it was nice to be able to have a mashup of Maine and Connecticut styles at High Roller, which I would definitely order again. The next spot that we're headed to is Becky's Diner. This spot was actually featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, which is famously hosted by Guy Fieri. He doesn't have a restaurant in Maine, but he does have a bunch all around the country. So let me know in the comments below if you've been to any of his restaurants or if there's something that you want me to check out. Now, Becky's is a classic diner spot on the water. It's perfect if you're looking for a restaurant to please everyone while still trying to get your lobster fix. <laughs> Here, I had a lobster grilled cheese that was just glorious. I still think about it often. <laughs> Imagine the perfect mashup of a greasy, buttery diner grilled cheese with fresh, juicy lobster. It was 10 out of 10. You can also get a regular lobster roll here, and a bonus item is their clam chowder, which is beloved by many. Their take on clam chowder does have pork in it, which wasn't my favorite chowder on this trip, but if you like pork in your chowder, then this is definitely your spot. But speaking of chowder, my favorite chowder was actually at our next spot. Gilbert's Chowder House. Now, I stopped here on a food tour that I took throughout Portland, Maine, and I was so glad that this was one of the stops because I had their seafood chowder, which was just loaded with shrimp and delicious lobster. There might have even been clams in there as well. But prior to this, I never really had a chowder that wasn't like a clam chowder or a corn chowder. So this opened a whole new ball game for me. It was indulgent, but somehow still bright and refreshing. You also apparently can get their chowder in a bread bowl. This is another restaurant that's on the water. And last time I was there, there was also outdoor seating. Our last couple of spots have all had similar vibes, but this spot is a bit more upscale, but don't worry, you don't have to dress to the nines to come here. It's just a James Beard award-winning restaurant. So you can expect innovation and modern twists on classic dishes. I got their take on a lobster roll, as well as a crab roll and a bunch of oysters because the spot is even tied oyster company. This is their lobster sandwich or lobster roll with the br a brown butter on top. 
Yeah. Um, okay, I just ate everything and it was delicious. As you saw, the lobster was the star of the show. So the buns are kind of like bao buns if you've ever had them, uh, but they're in the shape of what like a lobster roll would be traditionally. And it is delicious. The crab was not warm. It was very like lightly seasoned. I think that, let me look. I think there was mayo with it. Yes, there was some type of mayo and a little bit of lime and it was, it really let the actual flavor of the main crab come through, which was incredible. And then also the oysters. I don't eat oysters very often, so I just asked for chef's recommendation and they got me six different oysters and they marked off which ones were which and where they were from, which was really fun too. So if you don't know a lot about eating oysters and you wanna come here and try them for the first time, there's a ton of croutements too on the side. I got a kimchi ice and then a traditional cocktail sauce, which were really fun to try and flavor the oysters and they were delicious. Now our next stop is actually located at one of Portland, Maine's most visited attractions, the Portland Headlight. Here, there's a food truck for Cousins Maine Lobster. Now Cousins Maine might sound familiar because they are actually locations all across the country. However, funny enough, this is the only location in Maine. And not for nothing, it's pretty damn good. So here's my advice. If you want a full Maine experience on your visit to the Portland Headlight, then on your way to the Headlight, stop at Two Fat Cats Bakery and pick up a whoopie pie which is actually the official state treat of Maine. Then when you get to the headlight, you can grab Cousins Maine Lobster for lunch. So you'll have a delicious lobster roll for lunch and then a whoopie pie for dessert, all with a picturesque view of the Portland headlight. But that's it for this video. And if you have any more lobster recommendations for Portland, Maine, then make sure you leave them in the comments below. Oh, and I have a full video on my trip to Portland, Maine up on my channel. So I will also have that linked above and down below. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that way we can keep on growing. And I will be sure to get you next time. Bye!